Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a very belated February favorites. So February is still very much winter here in Ohio. Uh, and so there's definitely some hydrating products that have made an appearance this winter, specifically in February, that I have been obsessed with. And I haven't done a favorites in quite a while, so I'm just going to sort of lump it all together. Um, but let's go ahead and get started with moisturizers. So these are two products that I have been obsessed with and I actually use them uh, together, specifically in, in the morning. At night, I use a different combination. Still with this one, though. So the first one is the Belief, the True Cream Moisturizing Balm. Um, it has almost a citrusy scent, and I'm not sure if you're able to tell. There you go, sort of. Um, I think that I'm about halfway. I'm not really sure how deep that it, it goes. I feel like this packaging is very deceiving. Um, but this is a very thick, uh, that's what the texture looks like, thick cream um, that absorbs very nicely into the skin, but also... I don't want to say it sits on top of the skin because it definitely gets absorbed, but also creates a very nice glowy layer uh, on top of the skin, specifically or especially when mixed with this guy. So I do a little bit of the Belief and a little bit of the Dr. Jart Sycopare Tiger Grass Cream. And this one um, is, I don't know if you can see the texture, it's very thick and green. <laughs> um, and it comes with this little key that you can turn to get like every last bit out, which is great. Um, but that is what the texture looks like. Uh, and this is much thicker than the Belief one. Um, but, oh my gosh, my skin loves it. I do let this sit in for a few minutes before I go on uh, top with my makeup. But this is beautifully, this combination sits beautifully under foundation. Uh, I'm wearing it today. I'm not wearing foundation. I'm wearing a little bit of the Glossier Stretch Concealer and a little bit of the Becca Under Eye Brightener. Um, but... I love this moisturizer uh, combination and each of them separately. Very, very beautiful products. I'm not sure if my skin is going to like them as much in the summer. Um, I might have to switch up the moisture cream for Aqua Bomb uh, from Belief because I really just love everything I've tried from Belief. Um, but this combo is really great. Speaking of glossy stretch concealer, uh, this is a product when I first got it, I didn't like. I didn't, it wasn't enough for me. Um, I don't know why I didn't like it or why it took me so long to like it. But now this week specifically, I've been using this as a base. Um, I, I use it under my eyes to um, hide a little bit of uh, under eye darkness. I use it for spot concealing. You can, it's not a full coverage concealer by any stretch of the imagination. It is definitely a sheer uh, formula and it looks even too dark for me. But I, like I said, I have this all over my face right now, not all over, but under my eyes and uh, to hide some of my redness in my chin and my T-zone as well. Uh, and it, it works for me. Um, I think the stretch might be the stretch part of the stretch concealer. Not only um, refers to the texture of the product, it's very sheer and very um, stretchy. <laughs> um, but I think also the colors, because they only have three, maybe four. Uh, shades in this range um, but this is what the color it doesn't see it looks too dark there too but like I said I have it all over my face and I and I can't really tell um, but this is what the product looks like like I said it's not full coverage by any stretch of the imagination pun unintended um, but it, it's a beautiful hydrating dewy concealer that I can put all over my face uh, right now don't think I'll be able to use this in the summer uh, we shall see, but I'm obsessed with this. Obsessed. This is the shade Light, by the way. It's the first. It's Light slash Claire 10. I think it's the lightest shade in the range. I'm, in fact, I'm positive it is. Um, another hydrating product. <laughs> the other one is not, but it still looks glowy because I use this under it. Uh, this is the Too Faced Hangover RX. This is the small little baby size, but I did actually purchase the full size um, because it was 10 times points at Ulta a few weeks ago, and I am almost out, as you can tell. This is the, I think I already said, the Hangover RX Primer. It's a replenishing face primer with coconut water, probiotic-based skin ingredients, and skin revivers. This is a beautiful primer if you have dry skin. I don't have crazy, crazy dry skin. I think I have normal-ish skin right now. Um, normally, it's combo to oily, but with uh, being on a um, epiduo, my skin is definitely much drier than it ever has been. So I think it's like normal to dry. Maybe normal. It's not flaky. Um, it was when I first started that prescription. Anyway, off track. This is beautiful. I use this uh, under my foundation and I uh, do use a pore filling primer with it. The one I use um, varies 
but this remains consistent and has for the last few months. It's a beautiful primer. Uh, makes my skin very dewy, very hydrated, uh, hydrated, very hydrated, uh, very refreshed, uh, and looks beautiful under foundation. Don't know that I notice a difference in the longevity of my foundation when I wear that, to be honest, but it's beautiful. Uh, and this is actually the foundation that I have been wearing it under mm, for the last mm, month or so. When I, wear, when I wear foundation, I go for this. Uh, but currently, like I said, I'm wearing this as a base and have been for the last week. This is the Laneige BB Cushion Pore Blur in the shade number 11 Porcelain. I want to say this is also the lightest shade in the range. It's a little cushion foundation. Don't often use this. Actually, I go up right in with a beauty sponge, specifically my Real Technique sponge, and it works really well. This, I want to say, retails for 40-ish dollars. I'll put it down below. Um, but it comes with a refill. I'm almost out of this one, so I'm really excited because I already have a backup, a built-in backup. It's great. Um, I've been using this for months, and I'm, like I said, I'm still getting quite a good amount of use out of it. You probably be able to tell there's a little bit of discoloration because my uh, the product is gone and it looks like the sponge is turning white. Um, that was really close to the camera. I apologize. <laughs> um, but I really enjoy this. It's a beautiful skin match for me. Let's see if I can just dip right in and get any product off. Oh, yeah, it's really on its way out. But um, someone, oh, there's a little bit. Someone told me a trick. Uh, uh, you can actually take tweezers and pull this out and flip it. So I've done that quite a few times to get the most juice out of it. Um, I've already sort of blended it, but I don't know if you can tell. It's a very sheer um, product. It is a BB cushion. It's not supposed to be full coverage by any means. Um, but as you can tell with the Gloss TH Fresh Concealer and the clarity of my skin lately, I haven't needed a lot of full coverage foundations or a lot of full coverage products on my skin. This is beautiful. I'm very tempted. This is the more mattifying, but not super mattifying. This is the more mattifying of the BB cushion options from Laneige. And I'm very tempted to try the more hydrating, um, illuminating one. But, boyfriend's here. We'll just wait. Hello. I got just finishing real quick. Uh, anyway, those are my favorites uh, that I have been loving lately in skincare and all. Here we go. Hi, <laughs> Bobby. Uh, lately. And... It's like I said, the latest February slash winter favorites. Anyway, if you have any questions, please let me know down below. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And thanks so much for watching. Bye.